to us without limitation. So I think so often our viewpoints of ourselves are based on our definitions of ourselves. And so many of those definitions are limited in nature. So we've all had those moments where there was just this sense of greatness, this ability to really change anything that was up in your world. And being able to really interact from this really authentic present space, to me, that's just that innate magic that we be and we can possess more of it. Yeah. Wow. You know, mm. I've been I've been I've been talking to people since morning and I've been asking them this question and it just amazes me how 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 different every person has that awareness and to hear your answer is wow, it's your own unique awareness mm. about the moments of magic. Thank you for sharing that, Lauren. Mm. Thank you. Wow. And that just chased like every thought in my head about a moment of magic to someplace else. Cause I was like, that too. Yeah, that's yeah. it. That's funny. I can't hear a word of what you're saying. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I just hear magic, magic, magic. <laughs> what else is possible? So, so you're just not willing to define magic, right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it's, I, I loved what Lauren said, and it's, um, it, it is, it's like that, especially when you think of it in moments, because it's just like that, that little or big glimpse where everything is just, I'm going to say perfect, right? It's just awesome, and it's big, and it's full, and it's vibrant, and it's exciting, and and, um, and sometimes it's still and quiet, so it's not about how it shows up, it's just the moment where you know where I know that I am absolutely being me and I am, I am mm. in absolute consciousness, absolute oneness with everything. And it's wow. Right. So how can I have more of those? Like instead of moments, how about like more, I meant more <laughs> hours, hours of magic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, and it's also, you know, that moment when you are actually being com totally present like I, I, I love the bars manual and I remember uh, when the first time I got the bars manual and uh, uh, you know, the, I think the second page itself had this, you know, um, uh, what something like, you know, uh, what if you could be uh, aware or be present every moment of every day. Mm -hmm. and, and, and it's like um, this whole idea of the telesummit came about when I uh, was doing a gratitude challenge in November. And I realized that there were those moments in the day when I was so present that I was aware of everything. And those were like those, you know, magical moments for me. Mm. Mm. I love that because it's almost like you can receive more because you're actually present for those moments of magic, mm -hmm. like being able to catch that kind of beautiful sunset or that one way the light hits a beautiful flower. It's just that kind of, you miss out on so many of the, so many of those when they're really all around us all the time, but it's the presence that opens that window. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, when, when you uh, were saying uh, what you said about, you know, uh, being, being fully you and being fully embodied and when becky said and that's when i realized that it is that moment where you are being so present uh, in that moment which is a moment of magic mm -hmm. hey Christy. <laughs> guys Te technology tried to stop me again but i'm like no i'm having it <laughs> 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 well, you know, what can I say? I've had like such a major uh, snafu with technology and I just sent out an email to all of you before that. I'm like, oh. <laughs> and and it, it was like, I was feeling so, um, I was feeling so strange all day. And then, uh, and then in the evening, I realized that, oh, that is what is going on. And the moment I realized... And so, so the major technology for those who don't know <laughs> is that all those who signed up uh -oh. did not get registered on my system. <laughs> How does it get any yes. better than that? <laughs> Oops, <it doesn't>. <laughs> <laughs> See, so if you did sign up, so uh, you know what, just hit the link again and go sign up again. So the funny part is, uh, uh, is 
hey kalpana hold on a minute i'll i'll figure out a way to uh, you know put you on live <laughs> give me a second here <laughs> so technology pieces so you know what the moment i realized that there was that glitch which had occurred i just started feeling happy mm. so i mean I, i i was sitting there thinking oh i should be upset right now right because all these people i can see there were like thousands of visitors on the website and none of them got registered you know to listen to the summit so the moment i realized that there was a glitch and i acknowledged it i was just happy mm. <laughs> wow, it is right it's <laughs> like but when that, we just can react whatever that is we can't be in the magic of it that's mm-hmm. exactly good and and the and the choosing like i think that's in the magic in the no i'm having it that's the magic of us is is the choice that we continuously make regardless of whatever is occurring around us you know it's like what you were saying nella for like being present and being being aware of all of those the the the, the bird in the distance and and the rustle of the trees whatever it is it's when, when we continuously choose to be present even when things feel like they're blowing up and we continue to choose it that is magic we are magic in that moment ha huh. yeah absolutely because you know that strange feeling i had all day i didn't even acknowledge it and the moment i went hmm i wonder what this is <laughs> and then i come to my laptop and i discover this huge glitch and i was like oh my god <laughs> laughing. <laughs> I love the giggle. <laughs> it's going to take so much more than technology to stop this magic. I'm just mm-hmm. uh, <laughs> We're just not we're not going to we're not going to play in that space. We're going to have some magic. <laughs> it's really cool to have no point of view and to be in no judgment just like now when my internet is not working at all. <laughs> I'm going to be online and then it's just not working at all. I'm like Lisa. Okay. Lisa, where are you? I couldn't find you. Oh, I'm in a I'm in a conference room. Which I one? was trying to call you twice. I'm here. <laughs> Good. Hi. Which one? I would because my computer is going to die, so I would love to come down to your Okay, so I'll I'll, I'll go to the reception, okay? Okay. <laughs> okay. I'll be back. You know, Moments of magic. Get <laughs> here <laughs> <Yeah>, eventually. <laughs> you know, I, I just wanted to actually go on Facebook and I wanted to actually say that you know this is the magic which showed up and my whole technology kind of has went phew. And then I said, but you know, people are going to judge magic, and I was like, well, you know, what does it matter? It is magic, right? <laughs> and now, well, how can we use this to our advantage? <laughs> right and what if it's just right it's just this fabulous way that we've created to show us that we're magic regardless of what happens around us it's our magic isn't contingent on everything on the outside matching who we be we just be magic mm. and sometimes it you know it's like clockwork and other times it looks nothing like but <laughs> right and we still get to be magic Yeah. Yes, I'm guessing you are you are magic one up that technology is going to be working for you within our not already. Absolutely, absolutely. So ladies, uh, do you mind talking because I'm trying to figure out a way to get Kalpana on. Just give me a moment. Mm-hmm. So I'll Hey, hi. And you get hey, hi. <laughs> hi. It's it's Susan. I I figured out a, an acronym for magic. Oh, you More awareness Yes, more more awareness growing inevitably with care mm. and care. Oh. Uh-huh. With choice. That's it, with choice. With choice. 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 <laughs> choice. Oh, yeah, yeah. choice. Susan, Susan, you have to you have to type that out in the Facebook chat wherever we are. <laughs> okay, I can do that. I know how to do that. <laughs> 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 so funny. Kalpana, I figured it out. I'm just sending Hana is here too. And <laughs> we found each other and No, you don't. It's not working. working. <laughs> you working. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Awesome. Cool. <laughs> so, mm. there we go. Yay. Awesome. Magic. It's magic, right? Yeah, cuz it's it's really the awareness like little tiny babies they are magic they don't have a point of view it's like 
hi, isn't that magic? <laughs> look, look, I have my finger up my nose and I'm two years of age and look how far it goes. That's magic. <laughs> look, somebody came out. Wow, what's that? <laughs> And it's that willingness, again, that willingness to be present with all of it and just have fun with it, right? They don't make any of it significant. It's not like, you know what, Becky, it's interesting when you say just have fun with it. So, like, here's a question for everyone. How many of us have a point of view that we have to have fun in order to be magic? Mm. Mm -hmm. I'm some of my most magical when I'm not having fun. It's just, I like it. It's more fun when I'm having fun. It's real fun with fun. fun. We, we, hi, Calvin. We tend to, we tend to negate the magic if it's not fun, if it's not positive, if it's not all those, all the, the, all the um, um, listings that we want to name magic as, you know, we, there's this whole thing and, and, and there's good magic and bad magic. Magic just is. It's who mm -hmm. we be. Right, and I just have to. I just have to share a moment of magic because I just reached India and I I didn't sleep all night and I fell asleep and seriously at like ten minutes before the Zoom I heard somebody go Kalpana get up. <laughs> <laughs> Where am I? Uh, what am I doing here? What's the time? Ten twenty. Oh. <laughs> and that's how I got up. Like I just fell asleep reading and mm. I woke up in time. How does it get any better? <laughs> well, to look as gorgeous as you look for all that no sleep, that's magic, babe. <laughs> the magic body. <laughs> yeah. And the magic of bodies, because we're right now in Stockholm at Gary's. Oh, yeah. Gary's body. Mm. So oh, awesome. <laughs> and just to, you know, to, to do these processes and just to our point of view that our bodies are not worth anything. I mean, so many people walk through life not liking mm -hmm. their bodies, judging them uh, and so on and so on. But our bodies are truly, truly magic. Yeah. I like to look at my body as an animal. So I treat it like one. And the more I treat it, the more magic it gives me. It's truly, truly magic. Mm -hmm. And I think the, the, the main thing for me to have more magic with my body has been to stop judging it. Yeah. You know, this reality is all about judging us, trying to fit into some box of how somebody said we're supposed to look to be the magic or whatever. But to stop judging my body has been like awesomely crazy. And now it is magic. It doesn't only look good, it is magic as well. Yeah. How do we get it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm having that. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> What keeps popping up with all these conversations is like magic is perfection. And so often we think we're being magic if everything is working perfectly, mm -hmm. like our body is perfect and in perfect health, or we get online and all of our registrations come through super easy. It's like this <laughs> misidentification of like everything's working great. So that's when I'm magic. And yeah. when that's not, I've lost my magic. Oh my uh, God. I'm having a moment. <laughs> <laughs> it keeps popping up. Yeah, so everywhere we maybe misidentified magic as perfection. <laughs> Let's just destroy it and create all that. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Wrong, good, bad, puck, pot on in shirts, boys and beyond. Yeah. That's actually what our talk, our, our part of the summit here is actually something called Flawsome mm. Confessions. Mm. It's Love all it. about wow. how can we know that we're awesome, which is part of the, uh, the word flawsome, mm -hmm. awesome with our flaws. Because as soon as we, like uh, Lauren is saying, look for perfection, that's when we, when we kill ourselves, sort of. <laughs> judge Instead me, judge, judge. That we are awesome <laughs> with everything that we are, and everything is included. Our flaws, our, um, our magic, our, our beauty, yes. our, our insanity, our everything. So, mm -hmm. yes, let's have it all. <laughs> and that is magic. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so yeah. so all those all those uh, people who are watching us on Facebook or whatever, if you have any questions, comments, just feel free to type in there if you're still around. <laughs> you're still around. Nilifer, you'll you'll receive questions in the future, won't you? Past, yeah. present, and future. Everyone Absolutely. who's on Facebook. <laughs> Oh God, this is so hilarious. <laughs> so actually that's a great question, Nilla, for if people are watching this in the future uh, and they would like to ask a question and they're not right here right now, how can they, um, would you like to tell people how they can contact you? Yeah, I'm going to post a link somewhere after this broadcast. <laughs> that works. <laughs> 
No, the uh, link worked. <laughs> there was a glitch on the website. <laughs> the link was fine. <laughs> But, and it's also interesting, exactly the moments when you, when things go in a way that you don't think they should go is when the magic can occur. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 And that's kind of like matching what Lauren was saying about the perfect moment. Like that mm -hmm. it's nearly the imperfect moment that shows us that mm -hmm. perfection is so not relevant. Yeah. Yeah. It's like that opening for a different possibility exactly. though. Because if things are perfect, you're still in your conclusion of like formula totally living. judgment. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. You're, I'm doing the right thing. You're limiting what's possible. So it's mm -hmm. like, wow, yeah. And, and, and also, also, like Susan said about the uncomfortableness, I mean, mm -hmm. sometimes, because I was so much looking for everything to be, you know, happy and nice and just perfect. <laughs> but, <laughs> I started including and actually just being with what's uncomfortable, what's ugly with me, what's what's stupid about me, and all of these things that exist too. Yes. Yay. <laughs> no, but it, it's truly including everything because mm. Because so much of being on this planet, it's such a weird place and so much of it is, is not very comfortable. And the more aware you become, the more uncomfortable it gets and you just be with it. I was for so long trying to fight it and like, this is not, it's not supposed to be like this either. It was not supposed to be in the box, like, you know, the perfect life that was not supposed to be. And when I got conscious, I was like, it's not to, supposed to be un, uncomfortable. <laughs> it was like, oh, here I go again doing the same thing. So just to be with the uncomfortableness. And as Kalpana is saying, there's so much magic in, in the, you know, the sh shit that we define as shit. Exactly. <laughs> The fertile it's also, shit. <laughs> it's also the magic of one of the things I found for myself, and you know, jump on in it, with the tools of access consciousness. It's it's the magic of a question, mm -hmm. the magic of being in the question. We weren't taught to ask a question. We were taught to find an answer. You know, when Lauren, when you talk about perfection, we were taught perfection is where we want to strive for. Well, perfection isn't real, and and the this amazing capacity we have to actually be in the question invites in magic invites in possibilities and uh you know wow oh i can't get on this how can i try it what else is possible oh i think i'll try another server huh look pop here we go it's often the universe is just there waiting to gift you if you you know if you're willing to be in the question yeah yeah and i love that too because there's a tenacity with that of like the first go around didn't really work out quote unquote but like i keep going <laughs> i know there's a possibility here and if you don't follow up with more questions you stop all that form of momentum that you've been building. Yeah. Right. Totally. Also, there's, a, there's something about being in the question that's ongoing and limitless. Whereas uh, I was raised on Walt Disney, where magic is like bippity boppity boop. <laughs> 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 and this TV shows up. And then you can yeah. die. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. So that magic of that, you know, if we're willing to ask a question, like Becky and I often chat you know, late at night or early in the morning. And it, it's okay, Becky, ask me a question. You know, like, what question can we ask that would change this? With your willingness, that's magic. It's the willingness to be part of every um, element in, in, in the universe that's constantly shifting and changing that is in question itself, to know that we're connected to all the quantum entanglements. And the willingness to be the question and ask a question actually creates you as the leader in your life, as, as whatever it is you're asking for. You know, if you fuck up, wow, that was really interesting. Huh, I wonder what I was asking for. <laughs> that was magic. I fell in poop twice. Okay. <laughs> I, love, I love the part two. And I remember when I first heard the idea of being the question. Mm. Right. So, because sometimes for me, it's like I can't quite find the question to ask. And so I heard, um, uh, I think it was Glenice say in a class one time, what, what question can I be today that would change all of this? And it's like, oh my gosh, right? That's a piece of magic <laughs> we're willing to be the question because what if we don't even have to figure out what the question is? Oh my gosh, we just get to be the question and at the same time be the magic. And it just is such a, it just creates so much more ease. Wait, Becky, Becky, there's no perfect question. Hold on. 
What? Oh, shit. <laughs> for you, not for anybody else, but for you. <laughs> Just for Susan. And I, I also think yeah. that it's important to, when we create a magic, to acknowledge it because yeah, that yeah. can also create Absolutely. more. It's so easy when you create a magic to just think that, oh, well, that was a coincidence. Mm -hmm. uh, I didn't do that. And, but if we look back in our lives, all the moments when we created this magic and acknowledge it, and then how much more of that we can create. Exactly. And, and you acknowledge that you actually asked for it to show up. Yes. yes. And, and I think we don't need to be in the shit to actually step into having and receiving the magic. Like, what? what? I know, right? <laughs> you know, and you know, you know, on the step-by-step -step how to be magic with. Yeah. Uh -huh. First, don't and then you can be more yet. Stay in step <laughs> But it's it's not obligatory. <laughs> our willingness to have magic in those moments where nothing is wrong, the moments mm. where we're just waking up and it's magic, the moments where I don't have to have insanity around me for me to finally choose it, yeah. to re finally decide to receive it. We, you, you came through another body and you came out beautiful and perfect. You are magic. Like, you know, in every moment you woke up again, woo, you're magic. Like, what would it take for all of us to get that? And, you know, for me, I got the lies of less than, you know, up the mm. yin yang. And what really had me step, and if anybody's there right now, what really had me step forward was just, I don't know who said it to me, it's just, just the willingness. Okay, I'm willing. I have no friggin' idea how. Mm. And I certainly am never gonna be like anybody else. I'm not going to be as good as them, but I'm willing. Mm -hmm. And that started to really, it's kind of like, I was thinking about this while I was getting ready today. It's kind of like, you know, when the drain is plugged and it's just so full of crap and you can't, but that one little drip starts to come through and you know, it's starting to flow. Like, and yeah. it's that willingness is that drip. It's, it's, it's starting to open up and that's what's changed it for me is just, mm -hmm. okay, what am I willing to receive? Uh, what am I willing to be here? Am I willing to have the magic? Yes, awesome, cool, what else is possible? And laughing at all <laughs> of the craziness of our lives, yeah. right? Um, it's just, and the presence, I mean, mm -hmm. being the presence, it's, um, I just loved how you talked about just, how you went into that every moment when you were in that gratitude and mm. what that created you do choosing yeah. it, all of yeah. this yeah yeah and you Thank know you, so you know much. the other part of it is that it's like acknowledging that you are enough and there's nothing greater than you yeah and 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 it's like you know i looked at all my creations and i said oh in this creation it was because this happened and that happened and that person and this thing and that technology <laughs> And then, you know, at the end of the end of it today, uh, you know, when that whole lovely website thingy happened. <laughs> <laughs> we wouldn't have anything to talk about if that didn't happen. I tell you, thank oh. you, Nilo. <laughs> no, honestly, I looked at it and I said, oh, I've been making all of this more, I mean, more than me, but mm -hmm. the magic is really me. I created it and it doesn't matter what technology I choose, where I go, what I do. I can just move my little finger. Uh -oh. <laughs> just saying, everybody should just yeah. watch the magic now. She's, <laughs> she's switching her finger. <laughs> so, Nilifer, let's, let, that, you brought up something really, really cool. So what if we actually started talking about the willingness to let go is really magic? Mm -hmm. It really is. Yeah. When you're holding on to something, an idea, a project, a, a website, <laughs> uh, it, it doesn't actually create space. Yeah, it doesn't create the space for greatness, for something greater. You know, it doesn't create mm -hmm. that space for possibility. So really letting go, we're taught to hold on to stuff in this reality. We're taught to, to be vengeful. We're taught to, you, you Americans should know about that. <laughs> 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 so we're, we're actually taught that it that that it's it's the power struggle is what creates when actually the magic is in the willing being willing and will you let go of what isn't working for you because the universe is there saying hey pst, over here got something greater just just let go yeah. of that yeah and i wonder where we confuse tenacity with uh, holding on to your idea mm -hmm. great and also, and also forward 
also force like holding on to yeah. and force yeah right. like uh, tenacity is actually staying open and present for whatever is required and desired and mm. holding on is contracting and limiting what could be right Yeah. Tenacity is just about asking a follow-up question to me. You know what I mean? It's just being willing to ask another question or yeah, look from a different viewpoint. Up. Yeah. But I love what she, what Kapana just said, because that is the tenacity. If you really are in the energy of tenacity, it's big. It's yeah. not, oh. it's not it's this at all. It's like, oh. yeah. What's that story yeah. that I, I'm sure someone could tell it better than I, it's about the monkey who wanted the coconut. And he, so he, he went to all of this effort and he climbs a tree and climbs a tree and he finally gets to the top of the tree and he gets the coconut and he, he wants, he smashes a, the little top open and he gets his hand in there and he can't get his hand out with the nut. Like mm. if he let go, he would let go of the coconut. He would lose the uh. coconut. And so he ends up being stuck between a kind of a rock and a hard place. Because if he lets go, he, he'll he drop the coconut. He'll drop the coconut. Hmm. So how many of us are living our lives like that? Yeah. But <laughs> this is what I'm going for and we work so hard to get to where we want to go to and then we're holding on to it so tight it actually doesn't create anything greater. Oh yeah. yeah. Everything that is I'm creating to destroy that. Good bad. Yes. Great. And that's also true in relationships if you are willing to let it go then you can create you don't have to let it go you can create even more magic in the relationship. Sometimes we can come to a point where we sometimes should end it or want to end it and if we just are willing to look at that energy and have that discussion it turns out that the relationship can become even more contribution that, to yeah. other parts oh my gosh yes <laughs> i was just re reading in the utopian ideal a book written by gary douglas the founder of access consciousness i was reading it this morning and he was talking about how people have misidentified or misinterpreted um the w being willing to let go His point of view is, what if you could let go for 10 seconds? Yeah. Yes. It's, and I love that you, you, Lisa, that you started talking about relationships because that's what people do in relationship. They're, they're, they're put themselves in that either or context. Either I have and I hold on to this person or it's, I'm, we're, we're over. No. <laughs> we're, over. <laughs> we're over. That's it. I have to let go of you. Uh, rather than, than being totally fearless and saying, okay, you know what, I'm willing to let go of this 10 second and 10 second increments. I'll let go of this. Now what else is possible? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. totally. totally. I have it also okay. a lot when I'm creating a performance and uh, yes. it's like you have this idea, what you think will be amazing. And then if you are not really willing to stay like what Lauren was saying, like ask a question and ask another question and ask another question, you often get stuck because you've decided something. And if you actually allow the moment to give you the information, mm. so much more is able to reveal itself. And you're like, oh my God, but this is like 100 times better than I could even ever have thought of if I had not asked a question. So it's such magic unfolding just by willing to stay in the question, stay in the question, stay in the question, mm. stay in the question. And be the question. And totally be the question. Mm. And it just shows up. Don't even have to do much more than be the question and stay in As the question. As if by magic, it just shows up. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Hey Hi. Sophie. Hey Sophie. Hi, Hi little Hi. Her. Hey, <laughs> Time schedules and I, we don't work really well these days. Mm -hmm. I apologize. <laughs> we, have, we have a very difficult relationship. It's very tempestuous. No. I apologize. It's a magical relationship. We understand. <laughs> yeah. Who, who, who is the alpha, I wonder? <laughs> We were just talking about how magic shows up sometimes in the not fun moments, the ones that don't work really well. So That's there's true. your magic, Miss Sophie, because here you are. Mm -hmm. yes. Ta -da. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Welcome to the magical world. Exactly. <laughs> mm -hmm. the, the other thing, you know, I was thinking about is that it's that time when you're actually standing on quicksand when you're actually magic. Mm. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> but then we create the quick science sand sometimes just to have action <laughs> and, <laughs> and that's, magic too, it's right? like, yeah, that's my only catalyst for moving forward is creating a pit of shit or quicksand <laughs> and then i sink and then i can move so mm. yeah yeah being yeah. able to include all of that <laughs> yeah no magic there at all no <laughs> Another thing that we've been talking a lot about here in Stockholm at the class is allowance. I'm watching Gary Douglas uh, talking and the allowance that he has 
yeah. with everything is like amazing. And I see how much of my life would be even more magic and, and so much more ease if I w was willing to have more allowance. Mm -hmm. And I was looking at just walking in Stockholm on a Saturday day, trying to find Oh, I remember the allowance of everything, the allowance of, did I freeze? Mm -hmm. That was okay. <laughs> no, but just have allowance of this reality and the allowance of people and the allowance of me being, being pissed off with people being the way they are <laughs> and the allowance with my kids and allowance with, you know, allowance is truly for me right now, a key to creating a magical life. How much more easy would it be? to live here and be here and, and have fun with being here if I could have even more allowance with everything. Yeah. An allowance for you, an allowance for you and your choices. Oh my God, yeah. I'm writing a book and, uh, about fearless leadership and um, I started to rewrite it yesterday because I was like, this isn't working for me. Like, let it go, let everything go. And I got up at four in the morning and I was writing and Nilifer knows I'm all of a sudden like, she's like, what are you? Yeah, let's go, let's go. And, and so, by around 12 o'clock, I received something from my publisher slash editor saying, um, you obviously want to write this book by yourself and edit it. So I, I think we should cancel our relationship. And it was like, let <laughs> 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 out of prison. And my brother, <laughs> my brother who facilitates, teaches communications at the university, I said, could you find me an editor? Oh, sure. I have somebody for you. And Ricky, my husband came home. He said, you know, I was talking to a client. Did you know she's a publisher? So it's like, it's, you know, the willingness to let go and let it flow and, and really acknowledge oh, yeah. that you, when you start to actually choose and really be the question, wow, what else is Holy true? guacamole. Holy <laughs> guacamole. Let's play with the magic today. Yeah. yeah. And I don't know about you, but is there any moment when you are not able to be magic? Because I have this, uh, well, experience that when I'm judgmental, yeah. yep. cut it all off. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Are you hearing me? Yep. Yeah, sorry. When I'm judging or, or I'm judging myself or a situation, then I cannot create magic. Yeah. Mm. Yep. I don't know if you have the same experience. And picking no. up other people's judgments as if they're yours. Mm. Yeah. So not buy into those. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can I, can I add something about alliance? I used to think being in alliance was being stupid because uh, nobody would react. Nobody would say anything. Nobody would defend themselves when they were in alliance. And I was like, well, they're being stupid. Mm -hmm. So I resisted for so long being in alliance. And then the day that I allowed myself to be stupid, oh my <laughs> gosh, mm -hmm. everything was so much more fun and easy. And, and of course it has nothing to do with each other, but for me, that was what I had decided allowance was. So until I let go of what I had decided was, there was no way that I could have allowance. So now mm -hmm. I'm like, ah, I'm willing to be stupid if I have to. <laughs> <laughs> That's called magic and manipulation. manipulation. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Exactly. There's so much fun. It's so much fun being stupid because you don't have to be perfect anymore. It's <laughs> easier. <laughs> Yeah, I'm true. <laughs> Keeps expectations really low, right? Because yeah. people are just like, oh, she's stupid. It's like, yes, I am. Thank you. <laughs> we love you. her. We'll be like the darkest blondes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you guys know that Sarah, then sister, she's my hairdresser. And so I went to get my hair done this week. And we were hesitating whether I should stay blonde or go a little bit darker. And we talked about how pe most people judge blondes are not as in america i don't know about the yeah. rest of the world as not so intelligent and then i was like but then maybe i could use that to my advantage because then i would yeah. really blow their mind so mm -hmm. i stayed blonde <laughs> <laughs> kalpana we should find we should find a hairdresser to make us blonde now <laughs> i cannot We're wait to blonde that. over here in <laughs> stockholm <laughs> i'm now playing with it for so long, I was trying to prove that I was smart because I thought so much of my value was in, in being blonde. <laughs> that <laughs> everything is the opposite, right? But no, but actually just being the blonde woman creates a lot for people and, and the judgment that 
comes with that. Mm -hmm. So I thought that so much of the value of me was actually the way I looked and because of, you know, the, and so I tried so much to prove that I'm so much more. And now I'm just having fun being blonde, sometimes really stupid, sometimes. (laughs) (laughs) And, you know, again, just being everything and also being willing to be judged because people, yeah. I've, I've tried for so long mm-hmm. and that does not work to keep people's judgments away, both good and bad. And mm-hmm. it doesn't work. And nowadays my life is so much easier because I can just be here and like, oh, bring it on because I know now <laughs> the judgment creates even more for me in so many different ways. So keep judging me. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Please. 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 Gorgeous, whatever. Bring it <laughs> I, I, I love what you're saying though about like being everything because so often you can only be magic or be wonderful in one area. Like you're the beautiful yeah. one, you're the sexy one, you're the smart one. And I've always done like a volley back and forth where I'm like, okay, now I want to be pretty. Now I want to be intelligent. Like it's a back and forth, but never like having everything all the time. Yeah. And um, that's such a different space to play in, actually allowing not just your magic in one area, but to be the magic in all aspects. And the judgment that comes your way, how can you actually utilize it? Um, yeah. That's what I've been, I was like, okay, just receive, just receive, just receive. And then it's like, wait a second, that's actually a hell of a lot of energy. That's potency that I could actually use to create. You know, so that's kind of what I've been playing with lately is being able to actually utilize all of that. Yeah, yeah. and this reality does function from the judgment. So mm. if we are willing to accept all of it and take all of it when we want to, then we can really use this reality to our advantage. Yeah. And it's so much fun. So much and fun. the sweet spot there is, right, receiving the judgment with no point of view about it. And that's mm. where I really had to play with shifting that because I would act like I was receiving it because I would hear it. <laughs> And I would get to where I wouldn't defend or push back against it. Mm-hmm. But everything inside me was like, really? <laughs> <laughs> I thought, you know, you well. really know who you're dealing with, but that's okay. You just, and, you know, so inside, I'm doing this outside. And inside, <laughs> so as soon as I, as soon as I finally heard when I think when Gary was talking about it, no, it's when you receive it with no point of view that it's like, that okay that right Mm. so and you're right the space that comes with that and when they and when you're really able to receive it with no point of view and you get how charged up you can get from it and what you can do with it oh my yeah (laughs) yeah look out now because yeah that's that's magic that's like a that's like a spark of magic and i would say it's a growing edge for most of us you know it's kind of a muscle (laughs) to be built (laughs) Because <laughs> I have ease with that at some times and other times I find myself getting really reactionary to it. So I just think it's something all of us, you know, what can we all push more into, I would say. Absolutely. That. Right. Yeah. And that's, and the conversation about it, I think is fabulous because the more we're aware that we have a point of view about it, the more we can choose something else and tap into that. But yeah, it's just, and so, and I'm even, so it makes me uber grateful for the times that I am in resistance to it because then I get to see what that, how that, that choice didn't work out so well, right? Mm-hmm. But it's just, it's, it's being willing to receive, being present, going back to what we were talking about before, being present, right? That for me is where the magic is. If I can be present with the magic, whether it comes at me in a way that I think is, is pretty or whatever, if it's, what if some of the most magical moments we have are when we're receiving judgment from people? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, right? wow. That feels wow. like, wow. There's a reframe for you. I get to make my <laughs> magical. Okay, bring it. Bring, it <laughs> bring it on. That's that's yeah. the underdog story. You know, mm-hmm. it's so the people that were judged as not good, not performant, not good enough, weak, and had they succeeded, and had they went all over that, got over that, and actually now are the best and the most successful and the most loved. That's the typical underdog story. Mm-hmm. Let's do that. Well, look yeah. at Steve Jobs. Steve Jobs was willing to receive judgment. Mm-hmm. Bill Gates Perfect. is willing to receive government judgment, right? They got a lot of like, money. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And that, that's one of those aha moments. I love what you said. You know, it's the, it's the, that's, that's part of the magic of who we be. Mm-hmm. is is being willing to to just be present with all of those aha moments and how much information do we receive when we were like oh you're judging me cool thank you yeah. As you oh say, yeah thank you mm-hmm. cool and there people you. are like hurt what do you mean <laughs> 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 
It's like, yeah, it's really so fun. It's really yeah. fun. I yeah. have people really come up to me, go, I didn't like your show. And I'd be like, okay. And they'd be like, thank you. What do you mean? Okay. Thank you so much for your feedback. <laughs> <laughs> didn't work. God damn it. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> the fun with the not, you know, the non perfect moment there is also like how you can actually always be the source because it doesn't really matter. And that's the magic of being out of control. <clears throat> Somebody who says to you, I don't like your show, and they want to draw you into a huge discussion about their point of view, which they've decided is right, and you're willing to be out of control with the awareness of they're trying to control you. That's magic. Yeah. 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 So, so is any moment not magic? Nope. Spoiler alert. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we just add magic it with our conclusions mm. and our projections. I thought each magic moment mm. <laughs> from the next. Anyway, <laughs> I don't know if you guys actually, Nilo, for I don't know if you guys have actually talked about what we consider magic or non magic. Is this a place to talk about it? Just go for it. Okay, <laughs> we can talk whatever. Well, what I realize is people are when they consider magic, they consider something that's not usual that's not part of their regular life that's like mm -hmm. out of the ordinary so they don't make the simple moments or the present moment magic they don't they mm -hmm. forget to acknowledge that and yeah. so for me magic is actually acknowledging now right now in this moment everything included the good the bad and the ugly and how that is extraordinary mm -hmm. instead of looking for something that is not mm -hmm. so i just wanted to bring that up because a lot of time when I hear the word magic, I also hear how people look at for fantasy instead yeah. of now. Wow. It's like so much separation basically. Yes. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's also interesting looking at like how the events of our lives are extraordinary, but not us. <laughs> <laughs> no. yeah. We were extraordinary in our perception of the world and how we interacted with it. That would be, every single thing you breathe and do and move and create yeah. with would be that no generative. Excuse. Huh. Yeah, yeah. I like it. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Sophie. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> also like Dane, Dane here says, you know, he said that your point of view creates your reality. Reality does not create your point of view. So if you look at yourself as magic or not, and I think another quote is the you can either walk through life looking at everything as a miracle or as if nothing is a miracle. What do you yeah. choose? Right? So your point of view, what is it? Is it that you're magic? Is everything magic? Is waking up in the morning, is that magic? Is that you can actually breathe? Is that magic? Is, uh, yeah, whatever is in your life. What if all of it, look at it as magic? Talking to beautiful women from all around the world, all at the same time. Oh, Hello. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. What about too in the looking for magic? When I was <laughs> when I was look when I was realizing how much in denial I was about my magic, right? Mm -hmm. um, it was suggested to just kind of like every night before I get to bed, jot down five things that I had done that day that were magical. Mm -hmm. And some days they were really, and I actually did this a long time ago about being grateful to find five things to be grateful for before I go to bed. And that what happened is that as I started to look for the places of magic, some days I didn't feel very magical. And those days when I really started looking, that's when I could start to, to perceive the, the every single moment is magic, right? You can start to identify those things and start to acknowledge them, right? What we were talking about earlier. So I started intentional, like making a point to set aside time to look for the places and ways I had been magical. And here's the magic is that what it did is it started to reframe the way I looked at my whole day as I went through my day, because I would be looking for the magic as I went along mm. so that I had something to write down that night, awesome. right? You know, and it takes whatever it takes. For me, it took that like linear process, but it really was cool how it started to change the muscle from mm. instead of looking for ways that it wasn't working to looking for ways that I was magic. Mm. And so it's just, and it's, and I totally get in a whole different way today when I acknowledge it, so much more shows up. Oh yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Acknowledging the, the stuff that I created as crap, that's pretty, I'm, I am 
fabulously <laughs> magical at that. And <laughs> fabulously magical at other things too. So I don't, I don't know. Just, I love that, that just keep, keep looking for the ways that we're magic. Cause we are, we be it. Um, so how about if we like claim it? How fun was that? Yeah. Yeah. In the Cambridge English Dictionary, it says magic, the definition of magic is the use of special powers to make things happen that would usually be impossible. <laughs> so like everywhere, <laughs> everywhere we've decided that something is impossible. Can we mm -hmm. uncreate and destroy that, please? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because that's our biggest, <laughs> that's the biggest roadblock we put in front of us. The, yeah. the, the, also, yeah. it's like we've been trained to believe yeah. that we have, you know, we've been trained to look at what's wrong about us, what's wrong mm -hmm. with the with our lives what's wrong so we wake up in the morning and look at the, the fading instead of the sun shining in and that's actually a choice as well what do you look at what what is it that you think what do you perceive in the morning when you wake up it's the choice of how you look at your life and how you look at yourself and what's possible for you you are the only one who can create your life the way you want it so um yeah what will it take for more of us to actually and you mm. said another word becky it's grateful that mm, is yeah. such a big key because and uh, yeah so much magic comes from being grateful and starting to look at what you're actually what you have already who you are what you've already created who you have around you that yeah. we have this beautiful planet and what else but the gratitude is a uh, it's mm. it's huge. magic and it's huge if we start using it when well, well, I, I love what you just said, Lisa, like when you wake up and you look at what you have to do. So it's like we distract ourselves even from being that magic by having to fix something and look for our problems instead of allowing <laughs> to sleep and just actually enjoy yourselves. I did that the other day. I was walking by the beach just in the morning and kind of getting things together for what I wanted to create in the day. And I it was open and spacious and all of a sudden it took this downward spiral into, oh, this isn't getting big enough. This needs this thing. I was good. I went really deeply into fix it mode and I just mm. stopped and said, wow, what if nothing was actually wrong? Yeah. <laughs> I know. And it's Ooh. like super simple <laughs> and profound at the same time. And I was like, totally. okay, basic tool here, but wow, it just opened up that space and it gave me a moment to sit and actually enjoy the ocean and the sun. And then looking at my to-do list was much easier. It was kind of like, okay, cool. It's not a to-do list anymore. It's a to-create list. And it allowed me to follow my awareness for the rest of the day of what I would like to play with. Um, so cool. But that one question I think is just huge. If you could wake up every time you're going down the spiral, what if nothing's wrong here? Yeah. Yeah. Because that wrongness will automatically eliminate any and all magic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's bad. Anyway. Not to mention put you in a in a crapper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's amazing too how fast it changed. Yeah. 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 So how cool if you could change it with the question instead of waiting until we're in the crapper to change. That's cool. Let's Next do that. Time. <laughs> you know, with the magic of creation, uh at night what I've been doing is writing down um what it is I'd like to play with tomorrow, what's on my list mm. or whatever that is. And then I let the universe play with it while I'm sleeping. Oh, nice. Right, and then in the morning I get up and I just uh, uh, here it is, there's my notes. Hmm. And then I, <laughs> then I get up in the morning and I and I just I've given myself the gift of sitting quietly with it. Yeah. And so I just sit quietly with it and I look at what it is, and I step into the energy of each one, and and I'm aware that the universe has my back and the universe has been creating magic with me with whatever it is that I'm asking to create. So it's really uh, that willingness, as you're saying, to say, okay, what if there's nothing wrong here? Which of these things is requiring my attention and playing with the magic that everything we think of, everything we create, everything I put down on here is an entity unto itself. Yeah. When we begin to play with that and invite the magic in, magic is there. It's the willingness. Are you, you know, we always say the universe rewards action. Well, what if just writing it down and, and being present with what it is you're asking to create or going for a walk, like, you know, Lauren, you're talking about, or being in the middle of a dance, you know, you're, you're that, whatever that expression of who you be and what you'd like to play with is the magic of being alive. Mm 
Yeah. And what's fascinating is as soon as I kind of invited that space of what if nothing's really wrong here, all the actions I had planned for that day changed completely. <laughs> and what it, <laughs> what it allowed me to do was actually get present with the moment of what energy is here to create with instead of going off into my perfection bubble or whatever that is of, oh, if I'm actually going to follow this through, this is what needs to get done today. Uh, so it's amazing that kind of open space and that quiet, Susan. I love that. I'm going to play with that yeah. one, just sitting with it. Um, Because that actually gets you like, okay, what is actually here that I could create and play with? Because some of those things we're creating that are longer terms, it may not just be right now, it may be five moments from now or tomorrow (laughs) that the energy's there, you know? And and it also creates something else for myself. You know, I I remember when I first got into Access and I said to Gary, I wake up with like, it's like a wave of voices and things and blah, blah, blah. And he said, well, do you think that you're here alone? (laughs) <laughs> you might be picking up something in China that somebody's thinking about. It's like, oh, not it's not mine. <laughs> so, so that's magic. Just that awareness of mm. like none of that's mine, and 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 to gift because we, you know, we some of us as soon as you wake up, oh, let me see who who you know automatically on the cell phone on the day. What if you yeah. just, whew, mm. you know, what if gifting yourself that ten minutes, twenty minutes, whatever that is, is the magic of who you be and the acknowledgement that there's, there's more and there's greater that's being prepared for you. Yeah. Mm. yeah. And that kind of goes along with what, I've, what they, Gary talks about in terms of gifting your body a half hour a day or one day a week, right? To, yeah. to gift your body. And what I've discovered is that is magical time as well. Cause the body then shows up in that 50, 50 partnership with what I'm, whatever I'm creating. So I get the freedom of the, the space here and my body gets yummy at the same time. Right? Mm-hmm. Wow. It's that's it's just it's like it's magic for creation also, right? So letting the body get a little indulgence. You just turned my body on, Becky. Thank mm-hmm. you. Hey. <laughs> I love what you're welcome and thank about. you. <laughs> I love what you were talking about, Lisa, about looking at what is what is there. Uh, what would it take for all of us to be magic seekers? Um, I, one of my pet peeves is, is living in Canada and I love the country that I live in hey. and living in Canada, hey. hold on a second, <laughs> and hearing people continuously bitch about the weather in Canada. <laughs> and, they only do that in Canada. So it's, it's like, you know, if we're looking at you know, snow as a wrongness, you know, and, and, and you're going to see, you're going to continuously be in that energy of the wrongness. And, you know, for me, the snow is magic. And, and I go out and I do, I I go out every year and I lay down and I make snow angels. And and I, I love playing with kids in the snow because they see the magic of the snow or dogs or, you know, like, what is it that's around Mm -hmm. you that you've, decided and concluded is wrong or not good enough it's not like that other country i want to go to that other country it's like you know if you want to find something to bitch about you'll find it you'll find it (laughs) if you'd like to be a magic seeker you can find that too so what would it really take for each of us whatever moment it is like okay cool this is here now awesome Mm. so where's the magic in this Mm. what can i find what can i be to receive more of the magic of this moment Mm. Uh, whatever it is right? Yeah. If you're in a country where it's really hot and you're really sweating, it's like, okay, I'm going to get naked. Awesome. Look at the magic. My beautiful body is. <laughs> <laughs> right? It's just, it's, it's just so funny to me that so many of us are, are, you know, we have these two eyes, you know, maybe if we actually put blinders on and we just started to look what's in front of us and just turned our head and could see something else with always always not being willing to turn our heads right like when we're seeing all of it then it's like we we go to look for the shit because if our life was shit yesterday we that's our direction but what if it's not our direction what if we can actually turn and look in another direction to receive more of the possibilities and Mm -hmm. that for me has changed everything you know we most people sit around and complain you know, they had they commiserate together, right? We we could all say, well, you know, I hit my toe, you hit your toe, I hit my knee. Oh, you hit your knee, I fell on my ass. <laughs> so we can sit there and constantly come up with, 
a worse, worse story, but what would it really be like if we shared our magic? What if we had magic story time? Oh, well, let's share our magic together, right? Like what did you choose and create today that was magic? Oh, I got out of bed and I washed my face and then oh, I watched a movie all day. Oh my God, that's awesome. That's magic, right? It's like, what are you really, really, really willing to choose? And do you mm. really want to have magic? Mm. Do you? Or do have you have you the lie that it's not really for me? It's not possible for me. Because mm. I'm sure nobody on this call ever did that, right? <laughs> I have this quote that says, <clears throat> those who don't believe in magic will never find it. Never find it. So. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I like that. Very true. I love it. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. I want to say that the first time I, I took the foundation class, I will always remember sitting there and being like, shit, somebody was in my head the whole time I was growing up and they would put it on paper. And yeah. it was like, I knew this I stuff know. when I was a kid and I thought I was the only one who knew it. And now this guy named Gary Dunn, <laughs> dude, like, was in my head and put it in English because I'm French. And I was like, what? And, and I real, this is when I realized, okay, I did know something. I did know that magic was possible. I didn't know that I, superpowers were possible. And, and I'm not the only one now saying it. So you know how two people coming together create a new reality? So now it was like, oh my gosh, now we're creating a new reality with all these cool people. That's, that was just the most magical moment. I don't know if anybody who is listening to this has ever not taken the Access Foundation class, but if you want to know magic, go do it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, this has been such a fabulous conversation and we, we didn't have fun at all. <laughs> no. no magic either. No, no, magic. no magic is fun. No magic does. <laughs> no magic. Christine, you said, you know, you know, what if we were magic seekers? Well, we're seeking magic at least for the next nine days. <laughs> How cool is that? Absolutely. So, yeah, thank you, everyone. It's been so amazing, so amazing. For the first time, you know, I've just been content to sit and listen. <laughs> <laughs> It's been so much fun. And everyone who's going to listen to us now and in the future, thank you too. And if yeah. you come, come join us, listen, uh, listen to the amazing, uh, amazing, amazing speakers. And of course, uh, just a reminder, if you have signed up before, please go and sign up again. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get double the magic if you do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jennifer, thank you so much for putting this together. Yes, it's been yeah. a fabulous yeah. fun hour. Yeah. Thank you so yeah. much. Thank you. It was so much fun. Bye. Thanks, everyone. Bye, everyone. Bye. 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 Bye.